We're very privileged to have a governor in this state who actually um, has both indeed got a passion for young people and aged care. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you and welcome <coughs> His Excellency Malcolm McCusker, AC, CBO, QC, Governor of Western Australia, to officially launch our online toolkit. Thank you very much for that very warm welcome. Uh, John Hardwick, Chairman of South Care, uh, Dr Nikki Howe, Chief Executive Officer of South Care, James Lawton, Director of Executive Services, Mercy Care, Dr Lucy Morris, CEO of Baptist Care, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Having heard, I should make special mention, of course, of, of Alicia. Hasn't she got such infectious enthusiasm? <laughs> <laughs> when she uh, came along um, with Dr Nikki Howe to see me at Government House to ask if I would uh, become involved in this, I, I was immediately trapped. She is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, of course, I haven't mentioned, I should specifically make mention, of the members of the Young Leaders course because uh, they are greatly to be admired. Uh, I, uh, I join with John Hardwick in uh, paying my respects to the Wajak clan Lungar people, the traditional custodians of this land where the meeting has been held. As I say, several months ago I met uh, Nikki Howe and Alicia and uh, I, I was taken by the, the long title, Engaging Young Leaders on Aged Care Boards but it's a very descriptive title, despite the length. I was also taken by, as uh, Alicia had mentioned, the, the term unconventional. I went and looked it up, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> but uncon unconventions, uh, I think it's a very descriptive thing because uh, young people don't want to be hired down, and I think one of the main objects, not the sole one, but the, one of the objects uh, of this program, this, this project, is to bring in fresh ideas, bring in some lateral thinking uh, to aged care boards. Uh, I was very delighted, chuffed to learn, uh, and I was told by Alicia, that when uh, applications were invited for this project amongst young people, universities and elsewhere, uh, there were more applicants than there were places available for it. I, said, I think that says a great deal for the youth of today. Um, too often, young people are decried as uh, in the newspapers paint up the worst possible uh, scenarios. But in fact, uh, as governor in particular, I've found um, traveling through different areas and meeting different community groups that there is a, a huge abundance of enthusiasm and volunteering in our community. Um, I think it's well known, of course, that our population is aging and that the average life expectancy of our citizens, with the very sad, unfortunate exception of the Aboriginal citizens, uh, has inque increased quite dramatically over the last <coughs> 50 years. Uh, we all get old. I remember that uh, you probably recall the quip when someone asked one actress uh, how she felt about ageing. She said, not bad when I think of the alternative. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is true that uh, our population is ageing, due, of course, to uh, medical science, uh, healthier lifestyles, um, and stand higher standards of living. And uh, in my capacity as governor, I, I often, uh, as part of my duties, write letters of congratulations to people on their birthdays. Not everyone, I hasten to say, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to those who attain 90 or 95 or a century, and in one case just recently 105. Uh, and I'm thinking of abandoning the 90 because there are more and more people turning 90. It's, it's unexceptional. Um, and that's a great thing. But uh, there, there has been a dearth of young people on boards uh, such as aged care boards. Uh, and that's been recognised and is being, I think, very well addressed uh, by this program. It's a, it's a great uh, idea. I, I remember years ago I spoke to one of my friends who was uh, even, <coughs> even older than I am, I must tell you, um, who was on uh, one of the, and had been uh, a director of one of these uh, charitable body boards for a number of, of years. And uh, I said to him, uh, um, what are your plans the next couple of years? He said, uh, Malcolm, at my age, I don't even buy green bananas. <laughs> 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 now, 
this, this is a great project. It's a result of collaboration between three organisations, South Care, Mercy Care and Baptist Care, has been funded uh, by a, so, a, a social innovation grant, I understand, made by the state government. And I think that of itself recognises the importance of a project like this to get young people involved. It's, it's good for young people to do it for a number of reasons. Um, one is that I think it, uh, it meets the sense that most of us have of a sense of, of duty. Uh, we all know that we owe a debt to our community uh, and how can we best repay it. This is a marvellous opportunity to do that and give you a more fulfilling life. The other thing is it will give you experience, um, which is a, an experience that won't necessarily be confined to uh, aged care boards. It will be experience that you can extend to other areas of your lives. Uh, and I think that's very important. Alicia has mentioned the, the three elements to this project. Um, the Young Leaders Program, working with 20 young people under 35. I thought that was a bit late myself, I think getting up to 40. <laughs> uh, and no doubt you'll continue with other Leaders Programs in the future, given the uh, very enthusiastic response that you've got. Uh, there have also been four events, I understand, these unconventions that you've coined the phrase of, um, where open and frank discussions took place about how best to engage young leaders. Uh, and now there's this online toolkit which brings those strands together with all the information that you've gathered uh, and you've put it online. I think it's a marvellous innovation that you've come up with. It's the result of some, obviously, some very hard work and some careful thought. Uh, and I know it's going to be an ongoing. It won't be static. It'll be ongoing as more and more ideas come forward from these magnificent young leaders who are going on these boards. Uh, you'll have an expanding online toolkit for the benefit of everyone who wishes to access information about aged care boards and aged care facilities. So um, I think it is, I say, a most exciting and worthwhile innovation, one that uh, is very much needed and I think fills a gap. I congratulate all those involved in its production and I now have great pleasure in officially launching the online toolkit. Thank you.